Ah, uh, pot roast. A delicious dinner, plus my very first episode. And I've changed a lot since then, in more ways than one. For example, I learned that beef and booze make an excellent combination. And I'm not just talking about on the dinner table. Well, this was unexpected. The store I went to, instead of having one big piece of beef chuck, gave me two slices of it. It, it looked like this in the packaging, but it turns out they're two incredibly thin pieces. This is not necessarily a bad thing. In fact, they might be able to cook quicker. Just uh, make sure you really inspect your beef chuck before you buy it. And with the rains down in Africa. So you're gonna need about uh, roughly three pounds of beef chuck for this recipe. But listen, white wine can only go so far if you don't season it. So let's season it with salt and pepper. Okay, once our meat is seasoned, heat up a heavy duty saucepan over high heat. And once that heats up, sear our meat on all sides. And normally that'd be it, but there's more. Deglaze with three quarters of a cup of red wine, scrape up all the caramelized bits from the bottom, then pour it into a separate little serving cup. With all that taken care of, and the smoke gone from the searing, we can continue on to the next step. Let's add our meat to the slow cooker. And why the hell not, all the juices. Next, our veg. I have one onion quartered and four carrots chopped into bite-sized pieces. Then let's add two sprigs of rosemary. Our pan drippings, which we saved. And follow that up with two cups of red wine. It doesn't have to be super expensive, you know, $7 minimum. And let's follow that up with two cups of water. Slap on the lid. Let this cook on low for five hours. Okay, after five hours, our pot roast is done. You can tell because it just pulls apart easily. So let's transfer it to a plate. And uh, why not, let's grab some carrots. All right, let's shred everything up. Doesn't have to be like pulled pork, but just, you know, Shredded enough. Now normally this is where I'd end the video because pasta roasts cook, just grab a fork and dig in. We're not done yet. We're gonna make a gravy from the drippings. All right, so let's pour our drippings in. Let's try to pour our drippings in. All right, next stop, the stove. So let's add one stick of unsalted butter, melt it down. Once the butter is melted, add half a cup of flour, mix it and form a roux. Then slowly add our beef stock to the roux. Make sure you stir to avoid any clumps. Bring it to a boil to thicken it up. And once it thickens up, some salt, some pepper, garlic powder, and cause I can, some MSG. Pour that gravy on top of your pot roast and dig right in. Why did I choose to do a voiceover for the gravy segment instead of filming it the way I usually would? Because it's nine o'clock at night. I'm tired, I have to go to bed early for work tomorrow. You wanna help out? Support me on Patreon, link in the description. This has been Chase Cutting Kitchen. I'm CRJ, making cooking fun and meaning it this time. Thanks for watching. If you liked the video, smash the like button. If you really liked the video, become a subscriber and hit the bell notification icon. I upload every Thursday. Don't forget to follow me on Twitter, Instagram, TikTok, and support me on Patreon. Oh, and uh, by the way, I purposely did not include any footage from my pot roast episode. Watch it and you'll understand why.